Virgo. What's the word, baby? What is the word, yo? Virgo. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed. Mid-April. Find out what the energies is going on surrounding you for the 15th through the 30th of April 2019. Yes, indeed. Thank you guys so much for showing love and support. Shout out to all my new subscribers. What's up, baby? Salute to you. You know, um, if anyone would like to uh, book a personal and private reading with me, you can do so by clicking the About tab. There's some links there. Um, so what you would need to do is click the first link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it's Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. After you book and select the type of reading you want, you need to select a video platform. I only do video readings, so please keep that in mind. If you do not feel comfortable with a video reading, if you want to pay an additional $10 an add-on feature to have a direct video upload to YouTube. Now you won't be able to interact with me personally like you know a face-to-face -face, video reading but um, you will have the privacy of a direct video upload for your keeping okay so that's for you and you will have your reading directly uploaded there if you choose to opt out of the face-to-face -face reading just make sure that you select um, the add-on for the direct video upload okay so after you book your reading select the platform have it be Instagram my Instagram is in the about tab so that you can send me a message say hey Reds I booked on this date okay um, if you do not have an Instagram and if you prefer to have the video chat with me on Google Hangouts, my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So after you book, make sure that you select the video platform. Have it be Instagram. The link is in the About tab or you can send me a message on Google Hangouts. My email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Okay? If this video resonates and if you want to leave a love donation, you can do so. Um, the link to my PayPal is in the description. You can also follow that link as well in the about tab all right let's get into the reading okay father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of virgo thank you so much um we have been just going through stages and phases in our life we've been looking for clarity we've been actually taking action taking action okay that's a big difference from thinking about doing something we're not thinking anymore we're moving thank you so much for the progress and the movement that we've made in our life thank you so much for you know your blessing anointment for all of the you know the beautiful gifts that you've been given to us just even waking up every day with a smile on our face is a beautiful gift from you um dear god and we thank you for waking us up happy and feeling rejoiced and rejuvenated every day you know, um, to get up and start this new journey in our life, Father God. Thank you so much for just that happiness and the strength. You know, even in times where things are hard, we're just still finding it deep within ourselves to try to reach for our happiness and not let nobody take our joy and our happiness. And Father God, we thank you so much for that because a lot of people don't understand how important that is to not allow people to affect you and take your joy and happiness away and listen um virgo is taking action they ain't allowing it no more father god thank you so much for that bravery father i'm literally feeling chills thank you so much for that bravery i almost I, like i'm feeling i don't know why i'm feeling emotional i'm feeling emotional um thank you so much thank you father please give us guidance for april the 15th through the 30th and again from virgo we just gotta thank you so much father god Whew, why was i about to have so much emotion that prayer must have came from the heart of somebody because god felt like i was gonna cry and that ain't my energy so somebody has overcome a great 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 obstacle and um they really just wanted to tell god thank you from like the bottom of their heart and i felt that oh i felt that compassion honestly what i just got is like I, I feel like you guys are just losing your compassion for certain individuals that are not giving you the respect you deserve that's what i got that's exactly what i got 
So it says compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Spirit wants you to be more compassionate. I feel like right now y'all are lacking compassion because I feel like certain, you feel like certain shit shouldn't be forgiven. You know what I'm saying? But Spirit wants you to know you have to forgive these people and be compassionate. Not saying that you have to talk to them, that you have to do anything with them, but just in your heart, try to find some compassion towards the situation to forgive them so it can set you free so you don't hold no resentment. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set, you, will set you free. See the light in yourself and in others. You've already beat that obstacle. You've already did it. You know what I'm saying? You freed yourself. All right? That's that crown chakra, that purple, that understanding, that helping, healing with personal losses and grief. My bad. All right. So, watch this person when call me right back. To I just know it. Spirit, please give me guidance for Virgo in regards to this compassion and what's going on in April, mid April, the fifteenth through the thirtieth. Ooh! Ah! 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 Mm, the hell! Mm-hmm. Come on out. Come on out, Virgo. Come on out. It's time to come on out. Look, Virgo. Let me tell you something. Virgo is coming on out. I feel like Virgo is coming out of this stage of... Listen, how can I say this? Virgo has sat back and they have, like, thought long and hard about certain things that's been going on. And um, I feel like right now, um, most definitely, they are not sitting back thinking about how things went. They know exactly what lessons it was that they needed to learn in this situation. Um, and they're ready to come out and take action. I really feel like they realize that they need to stop mourning this relationship. You see what I'm saying? I feel like um, Virgo was in a, in a place of mourning was in a place of mourning um, when they removed their self from the situation. They retreated to get their mind together. That doesn't mean that they weren't in the situation still. They're probably still in the situation, you know? And right now, what they did, they took their mind out of the drama focused on their self and what they needed to do to change certain elements and now they're coming out of this hibernation and then being reserved. And it's time to take those thoughts and put it into action. They know that they've been crying over spilled milk, over spilled love. There could have been a third party. But you realize, you know, I have mourned this too long. I have stressed about this. I, I, I you know, I have sorrow. I have sadness about this relationship that did not go the way that I expected it to go but I have other options that are right in front of me I have two other cups that are right in front of me and that's why Virgo had to um go hold on y'all cuz my kids is munching. hey I'm recording go downstairs you know what Jesus they all on the step having it up Child, what what I wouldn't do to be a kid again? Like, okay, like they just be chill. Listen, listen. Okay, so anyway, like I said, y'all had that time to think, and y'all realize y'all can't sit back and continue to cry over spilled milk no more. It's time to look at what's ahead of you. It's time to look at the future. All right, the six of swords. Um. I, be, I feel like you guys have mentally gone back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with your mind about if you should leave this situation with this person that you're dealing with. I do feel like you're still living with this person. You guys still live with each other because um, you're not able to 
it's something here that you it's like it's it's some type of regret it's some type of actually i'm about to change this whole story You guys have done the thinking process. Y'all know what y'all need to do. Y'all are mourning a, a relationship. Either a relationship you're in right now or it's a relationship in the past. And you've been contemplating whether or not you should go back to this or not. Or should you make a forward movement. So, so for some of you guys, this is a relationship in the past, you know, that you regret it how it ended you know what i'm saying and you came to the conclusion that you want to go back okay you want to go back because you made bad judgment that affected that relationship you feel extremely guarded you know and now you feel like you have to protect yourself in regards to dealing with this person because you know if you go back that this person may reject you and maybe the things that they may have to say to you might be a little bit harsh. So you feel like you might have to protect yourself and stand up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because of the, of the bad judgment that you had that affected this relationship that clearly you're mourning over. If you try to go back, that you might be um, faced with some resistance where you may have to defend yourself about some of the things that you did in the past that was lack of judgment because the star man right here it shows that you had the tool to this destruction and the key to a new destiny and a happy future and you might have chose the tool to destruction okay because it's the eight of cups this is something that you walked away from and you want to go right back to you want to go back to and it could be a cancer pisces or scorpio man okay so, yeah. But then I also see that there are some people that are currently living with someone. And they can't come to terms on if they should leave this situation or not. They're living in, I feel like they're living in a lie. You know, they're living in a lie. Even though that they live with each other, they feel like they're by their self, you know. And they think back to something in the past that was way more better than their current situation or what they're in right now. Their current situation, what they're in, is spilled cups. And whatever that was in the past, it was something solid. And I think that they regret thinking that the grass was greener on the other side. You see what I'm saying? But they can't come to even though they've made their mind up and they know that they need to leave i think that they're trying to strategize the correct way to do this without causing a big kerfuffle if that makes any sense because i feel like virgo feels like if they just up and leave because mentally in their head they know it's the right thing to do they know that's the best thing for them but it's going to cause a whole bunch of drama and or it's going to be difficult for them to just hop up and just leave everything behind they have to strategize and get their mind together and that's what is delaying them in regards to this because it's something that was in the past that was far more greater and they feel like the more and more that they stay in this situation it's just you know, it's a bad judgment call on them because at the end of the day, it's like we all have free will. We all have free will. If you know that you're in a situation that is not good for you, you know, you can't really expect nobody to help you with it. You know, because especially if you've seen the red flags in the beginning and you still decided to indulge. You know, you might come to, to God or you might come to someone asking him to help you and you might not get the results that you are looking for because you have free will in the situation. You see what I'm saying? And someone can come in and try to help you and then you can be wishy-washy with it. And then, you know, it's like, no, you need to get your mind together before you come to people with help. You really need to de decide what it is that you want to do. Because right now there's stagnation and I don't see, I don't see that you're going to, like this is something that you're going to have to do by yourself. You know, because I see like, I can see even if 
you guys are breaking up and it's like you guys share an apartment and both of y'all name is on the lease. You see what I'm saying? And you want to get up and leave right now, but you know that the judgment ain't going to fall in your favor because you're going to end up having to financially pay to just get like, like if you just get up and leave, like you're going to get a judgment placed on you where you're going to have to pay the remaining, like your half of whatever that lease was or something. And I feel like that's why you guys have not just kind of picked up and leave. And even though you want to go and it's like, I want to say that you're almost miserable in this situation because you're thinking the how things was in the past you know what I'm saying? You're thinking about how things is in the past and, and everything that, that's in your environment right now is just not good. But I don't think that you could just get up and leave because there's some type of contract or there's some type of lease or something that you know if you break this lease, it's going to put like a, a financial judgment on you where you're going to end up having to pay out. Does that make sense? And that's why it's like I don't want to have to defend myself in court. You know, like I can see like some of you guys, y'all want to leave, but both of y'all name is on this deed. Both of y'all name is on this lease. And it's like, you're going to have to go to court and defend yourself. And it's like, you're guarded right now because you don't, I don't feel like you, you got time for all of that drama and that fight. You're just trying to think and figure out a better way of how to do this and, and, and leave the situation without causing a big kerfuffle. Because you have... The tools to new beginning and destruction and you're choosing the new beginning it's like you're not stupid i'm choosing a new beginning i want to get away but it's just a delay right now because emotionally i don't want this to be a big toll on me because i feel like there's a whole bunch of fucking drama i feel like there's a whole bunch of fucking drama with this water sign i feel like if you was to get up and just leave without strategizing how the fuck you're going to do it. This person going to turn upside down and going to try to make your life a watery living fucking hell. And you ain't got time for that shit. You ain't got time for that shit. So it's like you want to leave and you're going to leave. But there's some delays because you have to strategize. You got to get your mind, your heart and your emotions together for you can do this. Because you know that this motherfucker right here. Once these motherfuckers get in their negative way, they got it. They have a very good way of um, emotionally manipulating you to do whatever the fuck it is that they want you to do. And you just like, uh-uh. Because I'm not, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, that compassion coming out in the reverse, it's just like forgiveness will set you free. You're trying to forgive this person. But I really want to say I feel Virgo feels like they left a situation and got themselves mixed up with somebody, you know. I, 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 don't, I, I, I do feel like some of y'all left someone and y'all got mixed up with someone else to realize that the grass wasn't green on the other side. And now y'all trying to get away from this situation because y'all felt like it was a bad judgment call on y'all part. And you really got to think to figure out the best way to, to, to deal with this situation. No matter how you put it, someone ended up with someone where they realized that the grass wasn't greener on the other side and they want to go back to where they were. It don't matter if you want to go back to being single, if you want to go back to an old relationship. I did see the two of cups on the floor. You know what I'm saying in regards to that five of cups. So it could be someone that you were in a relationship with where you, you felt things were more grounded and things were more emotionally stable. Yeah. Patience and planning. Reckon it. Okay, yeah, I told you. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fulfillment. And, well, yeah, that's why I'm trying to tell you. Y'all are not stupid. Y'all are not fucking stupid. You like, uh-uh, I got to be smart with this one. Because this person is very emotionally manipulative. They're very good with hiding their feelings and what they're thinking. And you know what I'm saying? The person that you're dealing with, they're very calculated. They know how to hide. So you can't. They know how to sh shout out their emotions so you can't tell what they're thinking or what they're planning or what they're doing. And you like, I got to mirror this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I got to see here and I got to be very compassionate and be very sweet all the while. I'm making moves in the background. Like, that's honestly what I feel. 
intuition. I felt like you weren't guided by your intuition before you got in a situation with this person. But however, love is beginning right now with yourself. You are pouring all of that love and shit back into yourself. It starts with number one. It's about new beginnings. All right. You want new beginnings and love because they're your fulfillments and wishes were not met here. It is the end of this chapter. Love begins with self. You're starting to love yourself right now. You don't pick yourself the fuck up and you realize that you are not using your intuition. And right now it's time for you to tap back and to regain that insight of your intuition. And it starts with self-love. And that's exactly what Virgo was doing. They are not playing. There was no fulfillments and wishes being met here in this situation. And they know good and goddamn well. It's going to take a lot of patience and planning in this situation. But I just feel like Virgo is overwhelmed for some reason. I, and I want to say that Virgo feels like I don't have time for patience and planning. Like I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? It's just, why do I feel like Virgo is like, they want, they feel like they need, I feel like Virgo is so unhappy. Like, they want to make a mad dash. They want to make a mad dash. And they know they got to think this shit out. They know they got to sit down and plan and think this shit out before they just make a move. But it's like, I don't have time. Like, I want to go now. <laughs> like, I want to go now. Like, I want to go now. That judgment in reverse. The more and more I stay in this situation, that is bad judgment on my part. I got to figure this the fuck out because I want to go back to what I was doing before. I don't want to be here no more. I really do feel that like with, with, like, very deep in my heart, they regret getting into the situation. It's time for recognition and rewards. Okay? Number three. It's time to it's time to start socializing again. I want to say like why do I feel like I feel like you were kept away from being able to socialize and have a life. <laughs> and I want to say that um right now Virgo is like man, I am ready to reclaim my life back. I want communication i want you know what i'm saying like i feel like they want recognition and communication from the outside world i want to say that they were almost in a controlled situation and this is just what i'm just getting intuitively i want to say that they were in a controlled situation where they weren't able to kind of like you know socialize with other people you know what i'm saying like they weren't able to like express their self you see how this man's head is down you know Virgo's trying to get their self grounded. They're like, man, listen. I really don't have time for patience and planning. I really don't. I want to be recognized. I want to be rewarded for everything that I'm doing. All the hard work that I'm putting into this relationship. You know what I'm saying? Or a relationship. And if I'm not going to be here, I'm going to recognize and I'm going to reward myself by beginning all over again. And pouring that love into myself. And to God sends me somebody that is really going to be compassionate with me. And I'm going to be compassionate with them. I just want to say that the person that they were dealing with had a lack of compassion. I want to say that the person that they were with had a lack of compassion. And might have been controlling and control the their emotions and how much love like they gave love out to them in rations or some shit like that and that wasn't fulfilling the ten of swords backstabbed and betrayed king of swords okay yeah you're definitely cutting somebody out i feel like someone wants to cut someone out and go back to their children they feel they feel backstabbed and betrayed they feel like they're laying there dead <laughs> They feel like they're just dead meat laying there for vultures to feed on them if they stay here in this situation. They feel like dead meat in this situation. Eight of Cups, they're walking away. I feel like they're walking away going back to their children, whoever it is that they got children with. Now, Hermit, they walking away and going within. They walking away and going within. I feel like they're walking away because they just want to be by their fucking self. The Emperor, yeah. And like, I got to take care of my family. I, I don't have time for this shit. I want to say it's somebody, um. I 
I want to say that somebody, um, listen, more and more they stay here in this situation, they feel like they're dead meat laying on the ground for vultures to pick and eat at. And, um, <laughs> Virgo, like, you're not about to lay here and pick and eat at me like this. I ain't no dead meat for you to just pick at. I'm tired of all of this mental abuse. I feel like there's a lot of mental fucking abuse. All those swords that is in this bag is mental abuse. And they're fucking tired of it. They're tired of it. They'd rather go at it alone. And I feel like this Virgo, especially if it's a Virgo man or a Virgo woman, like, they already have a family somewhere else. So if it's a Virgo woman, I could see her feeling um, possibly backstabbed and betrayed by whoever it is that she has this this child with. You see what I'm saying? And you about to cut him out. You know? There could be some of you guys that are about to cut out somebody that you're currently with and go back to your child's father. And for some of the men, you guys are cutting out a lot of the abuse and the torment that you guys have been dealing with in the current situation. And you guys want to go back to your children's mother. You want to go back to whoever you have kids by. Clearly. Going back to your children. Going back to your children. Alright? You're going back to your family that you already had. You're going back to your family that you already the fuck had. Because at the end of the day, um, you know that this situation didn't serve you no good. You spending time to yourself going within with that hermit card. That's the same as that uh, four swords. That is someone who went within their self and they had to like go through a self-discovery phase. And you discovered, like, this shit right here. Uh-uh. This situation, whatever this situation is that you were in, especially for the Virgo men, I feel like. Because for y'all to want to go back to your children, I want to say, like. I want to say this person might have kept y'all away from y'all kids for some reason. Or this person interfered with, with something with your kids. Because you feel. The emperor is about being a good man. It's about being a good father. It's about being a protector, a provider. You know. Someone that's a really, really good father. And that's why I'm saying like. I really do feel like. Someone is going back. They want to go back home, you know, even if, and, I, and I'm going to say, even if they're not going back to the actual relationship with the people that they had kids with, they want to go back to being single so that they can be a good father. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whoever the fuck this was that they were dealing with, this person interfered with them being able to be a good father. They're done with this fucking emotional abuse laying here like dead meat. They're focused on their kids. They're going back to the way things was in the past. Being a fucking long and being a good father. Do you get me? Let's get some. And like I said for the Virgo women. Y'all might be going back to y'all children's father. Y'all felt like y'all should have never left him to begin with. Because he was a good man. He was a good man. And you had to go in this hermit mode, this self-discovery mode to really see that. You know what I'm saying? You had to go within to see that shit. If the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Woo! The grass wasn't greener on the other side with that King of Cups. Says you're a badass. Act like it. Fuck them. <laughs> Hey, brother, y'all funny as shit. This is what popped out. You a badass. Act like it. Fuck them. It says you were giving your power away. All right? You were giving your power away. They broke your heart. 
this person that you were dealing with, I want to say, because I, like I said, the five of cups means that there was someone cheating on. There was a three. There was three cups spilled over, so that's a third party. It was two cups behind them, so that means in the past that they had a stable and committed relationship where wasn't nobody cheating on them. This person that they with now broke your heart and you gave this person too much power. You gave this person too much control over what type of how 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 influential you were in your in your kids' life and shit like that. Like I like I really feel like that in a in a big way. I feel like this Virgo felt like they were a better father. They could better do and provide for their children and they and they all they already had kids. You can see he's a father. The emperor is a father. <sighs> You're a badass. Act like a Virgo. Fuck them. They broke your heart. And I really do feel like I really do feel like this person not only was very mentally abusive to Virgo, but this person was cheating on Virgo. Because otherwise, why would Virgo would have needed to retreat like that off of that four of swords? And you know, go through a self-discovery phase to get their fucking mind together. And why are they sitting up there strategizing how to leave this person? Because they're leaving. It's a fucking delay. Because they just want to... They don't want no fucking drama. I feel like Virgo's tired of the fucking drama. And you know, Virgo can be very passive sometimes. Because they don't want all that drama. But Virgo is... Virgo will get with you. I thought a lot about you lately. Oh, shit. I want to be authentic. I'm no longer afraid. I, I know you are right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. Give me some additional guidance. How does Virgo feel? Something is still missing for me, and I'm trying to figure out what that is. Would you reject me? I want to say that this is whoever that they're mourning, mourning about in the past. This is not this current relationship. Whatever relationship that they're in, they ain't really got no compassion for the person. <laughs> they're strategizing to get the fuck away from them. They're going back to the way things used to be. And whoever that is that they're going back to the way things used to be. They've thought about you a lot lately. They've thought about you a lot lately. I want to be authentic. I'm no longer afraid. Okay? I know you're right, but I needed to come to my own conclusion. So it's something, something about something in the past that they know that the person that they were dealing in the past was right about, but they had to go on their own and, and, and learn on their own. They had to go learn on their own. Something is still missing for me, and I'm trying to figure out what that is. But yet, something is still missing. For some reason, Virgo is not fully fulfilled for whatever reason. It's some, that's why, Virgo, y'all need to go through that self it's, 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 it's. That's why y'all need to be alone for a second. And I'm with Virgo saying, I was a better father when I was by myself. And I was just being a hermit, and I was just staying to myself, not trying to... I feel like whoever the fuck that they was dating really, really tried to. Well, they tried to, 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 like they were mentally abusive and I feel like there was some level of control. And their fulfillment of wishes was not granted here. And Virgo wants to know the person from the past, if they was to come back, would you reject me? Yeah, you're going to be rejected if you still feel like something is missing. You need to, you need to dig deep within yourself and, um. You need to dig deep within yourself. You got to come to people whole. Okay, can I open this up? Do you not want me to use this deck? Alright, so this is the new deck I got, y'all. This is the Twin Flame Messages Volume 2, okay? So, it's going to be my first time using this deck. So, let's see. So this is how Virgo feels. How does the person that Virgo is dealing with, the one that they're dealing with, how does this person that they're trying to get away from, what's going on with them? What are their thoughts and feelings? 
What are the thoughts and feelings of the person that Virgo is trying to leave? Thank you. What are the thoughts and feelings? I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. You're the only person who truly gets me. Well, if, if you feel like that about Virgo, why the fuck are you so mentally abusive to them? Why do they feel backstabbed and betrayed like that? It says, it really was me, not you. We will, well, we know that. And you about to totally miss out because Virgo about to dip. And he's trying to figure out how the fuck to get away from you. There's nothing else? Nothing? No. Nothing else that needs to be said. That's fine to me. That is fine for me. That is fine for me. Where the hell am I going to put this deck? I got so many damn decks out. Anyway, so like I said, I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. Like I said, this person held back their feelings. Like Virgo never really knew where they stood with this person. Only thing that they knew is this person always had some shit to fucking say. I want to say I feel like Virgo felt like this person was judgmental and always like placing harsh judgments on them or trying to tell them what to do and they don't know what the fuck they talking about. You see what I'm saying? Like that's why that judgment card is in the reverse. It's like someone was constantly putting their opinion out there and shit like that and don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. You feel what I'm saying? But this person feels like Virgo was the only person who truly understood them. And they wish that they would have told them how much they truly meant to them when Virgo was there. But they know Virgo was leaving. And they said, it's not you, it was me. Alright? So that's the person dealing with Virgo. Let's dig into love. Y'all like the way I've been doing this new spread now with you and them? Y'all like this spread now I've been doing? I really love those um twin flame messages because it's like sometimes people just be like, man, I wish if I could have just talked to this person in their head. Like, what the fuck would they say? Like, so... And a lot of times, man, not a lot of times, these cards be spot the fuck on in a personal relationship that I've done with these things. Boy, shout out to Mystic Moon. Shadow. Pause. Yeah, Virgo putting this situation on pause. Because they're like, listen, it's something deep in the shadows with this person that they need to deal with. And I, I don't, I don't, like they need to work on themselves. I'm not going to continue to be in fear, you know, like I still love you. Like Virgo still loves this person, but at the same time, they got to focus on their material world right now. They don't have time to, to, you know what I'm saying? Like this person, the one that said it was me, not you, Virgo knows that. And that's why they said, you know what? I'm about to put that ass on pause because you were rejecting dealing with your shit. You got to dig deep within and in 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 uh, face your shadows so that you can see yourself right side up because right now you was looking big ass upside down you know and you're not really looking at your reflection into how you are projecting your bullshit off onto other people in the relationship virgo feels that that feels that that person was in fear you know what i'm saying this person was in fear i don't know what for I don't know what for. I don't know what for. But I feel like this person that they were dealing with over here was very fearful that maybe Virgo might leave them or that it was something. Like, I want to say that there was some level of insecurity there. And they felt verbally abusing Virgo was like a way of like control or something. I really do feel like that. I, I really do feel like someone controls Virgo with fear if that makes any sense I hope I'm I hope I'm making sense but I I do on a strong level feel like 
there was someone placing harsh judgments on Virgo and try to tell Virgo how to be a fucking father or how to be a mother or how to deal with their, their child's father or their child's mother. Because for Virgo to have to go to that four swords, they had to mentally get the fuck away from this person. Like, even if y'all was still living with each other, I feel like Virgo just tapped the fuck out and went in hermit mode and went into self. They had to put the shit on pause. The person that they was dealing with had to deal with their shadow work. Because Virgo wasn't going to continuously be in fear in this situation. You're not going to continue to have a fear-based relationship with me. You're not going to do it. Because I feel like it was almost to the point where... I don't know. Let me just, let me just keep it moving. Um, there's still a sense of nostalgia there. Like, I definitely feel that Virgo still loves this person, but they got to focus on their material world. They don't have time for this. And you're not about to be holding my heart in your hand like that, bitch. Fuck you. Uh-uh. I'm a badass. Act like it. Fuck them. You know? And that's the thing. Like, this person kind of controlled Virgo because they knew that they held Virgo's heart in their hand. You know? And Virgo's like, uh-uh. You're not going to keep me... You're not going to keep me like that. I'd rather focus on my money. I'd rather focus on my money. Like, I don't... Mm -mm, I'm about to put you on pause. Because you need to work on yourself. I love you, but I love myself more. I focus on my money and my kids. I ain't got time to be fucking with you. Oh, this is the shadow. Oh, I picked up the shadow deck. Let's dig into the shadows. Shit, since they saying the person got to dig in the shadows. What's going on in the shadows? What does Virgo, what's going on in the shadows? Oh. This person was too forceful. I just told you that. Was too forceful, was too controlling with Virgo. And Virgo don't like that shit. Virgo feels haunted by this person. I feel like this person won't allow Virgo to leave. They won't allow Virgo to leave. Virgo want to go back to just being single by themselves so they can focus on being a good father or being a, or, you know what I'm saying, or or, or um fix the relationship with their with their um with their kid's father, you know what I'm saying, so it won't be all that drama. Virgo wants to take a non-action approach with this person. This person is too forceful, and this relationship haunts them. They're tired of this person being secretive. They don't want to deal with that secretive ass bullshit no more. But however, Virgo does feel a little bit cowardly because I feel like they're they're scared of this person. There, it's like it's it's something about this person that um I feel like Virgo just is scared of the the level of drama and shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they know they have to go on non action approach and not allow this person to keep putting this fear in Virgo's heart. And I want to say that this is a crazy ass bitch that Virgo been dealing with, you know? Please clarify this love situation. Pride and ego and rec and recognition. Free will. Union. Winter. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. So for this person that's dealing with Virgo. Hmm. I want to say that this person um, battles with trying to control their pride and their ego. Mm -hmm. This person operates from a low vibration on their pride and their ego, and they really need to stop that shit. I feel like this person stopped recognizing Virgo because they had their free will. And with that free will, they found themselves in a whole nother union this past winter. So I really do feel like on a high level that all that mental abuse, all that smart mouth bullshit, all that disrespect and all that stuff that they were doing, it wasn't nothing that Virgo was doing. It was them. Because number one, they operate from a low level pride and ego stance. They weren't giving Virgo the recognition. And look, that's, wasn't that up here? Recognition and something? Recognition and reward. They were not reckon. They were not recognizing the reward and Virgo the way they did. Look how down this person is. You see how they got their head down. 
That's probably why I felt like I wanted to cry when I was doing that. Um, bro. And I feel like this is a man that feels like this. Like, this is a stupid-ass fucking woman that did this to a man. And whoever this bitch is, you need your ass beat. Virgo, you better call your sisters or somebody and tell them to beat that bitch ass. Now, I'm sorry. Now, like, let me not do that because that's me being my fucking... Don't, don't, don't listen to me, y'all. But, like, for real, if you, if this was my brother, bitch, you'd have had your ass beat. You're not going to have, you're not going to take no man and have him walking around like that when you fucking up his goddamn, in, no. Bitch, I'll fuck you up. You lucky this ain't my brother. Because if I ever catch you, bitch, I'll knock all your shit out. Fuck you mean. Ain't you getting in the way of a motherfucker being a good father? What? Yeah, motherfuckers that take their whole shit knock the fuck out, fuck around with me. What? You don't get in the way of nobody being no father. And you out there doing little clown ass shit too? It's something that this person needs from you, Virgo. This person can't stop. This person is extremely insecure. What is this saying? I just seen something fly out. Foolish. Person is beyond foolish. Ruthless. Yeah, and that's why I said Virgo is scared of this person. This is a crazy ass fucking bitch or a crazy ass man. And this is a woman carrying... Oh, no, because this... Nah. So, anyway, like I said, this person that Virgo was dealing with, um, this person is a... F <sighs> okay, I feel like this person searches your social media and... I feel like this person projects because this person, they used their free will to find them another union this past winter because it wasn't you. It was them. It wasn't you, it was them. And it wasn't until they realized that Virgo was focusing on leaving. They realized how much Virgo meant to them. You know? And that you were the only person that truly got them. And now that Virgo is focusing on their mater material world, they're taking a non-action approach, they're kind of scared and trying to figure out a, the right way to get out of this situation. But they know that they are. And that's why this person cannot stop invading. They cannot stop invading Virgo's personal space. And that means as well, this person trying to look in and trying to tell Virgo how the hell they should operate as a parent. You can't tell nobody how to operate as a parent. Don't be trying to look into somebody else's situation. If you the girlfriend, be the girlfriend. If you the wife, be the wife. If you the boyfriend, be the boyfriend. If you the husband, be the husband. If you are not these kids' parents, mind your fucking business. Ain't nobody asked you to look in on nobody's situation and give them opinions on how to be a motherfucker parent. That is a big energy that I'm getting here. Because this person feels like whoever they're dating... They were able to be a better parent when they were alone. And they just laying around like dead meat. Laying around like dead meat right now every second. And they're like, you're not about to sit here and eat me alive. Why, you got the free will to do whatever the fuck you want to do? I don't think so. Um, this person has a serious level of doubt within their self. It's deep-rooted doubt. This person is very insecure. And this person is extremely foolish. This person is very juvenile. And makes extremely foolish decisions. This person is very juvenile. And I feel like this person is emotionally distant from you. Extremely emotionally distant. Because they got the free will. They in a whole nother union. But they don't want you to go nowhere. They want you. They want the other person. And they want to drag y'all by y'all fucking scout to do whatever the fuck they want to do. This person is a fucking sick ass person. I'm sorry, huh? Please give me some additional guidance. Please give me some last. Like, because for real, this bitch should have got her motherfucking, yeah. She'd have had to fight my whole family. Every time that bitch would have walked out the door, it would have been one of us out there beating the fucking shit out this bitch. 
Who you being ruthless with? Because I'm telling you what, if this was my brother. <laughs> my, see, my little brother, he ain't got nothing but older sisters. That bitch. Oh, man. Better not no bitch ever gonna fucking try my brother, yeah. I will gladly go to jail behind mines. Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. You got this man scared. You got this man scared. To leave. Because he don't want this person to be ruthless. What? Y'all been caught. Virgo wants to be happy. They want true love. It's been illuminated to them. This ain't love. This is not happiness. I want happiness. There's shit going on in the backgrounds with this goddamn wound that they don't fucking know about. And it's going to come out. Virgo is not stupid. They just don't have proof, but they're not fucking stupid. You putting me down because you fucking with somebody else that you think is better than me. So you think you could come in the house and disrespect me and keep stabbing me in my heart. You acting like I don't know that you cheating. This motherfucker so good, you so happy, you living in a low vibrational um ego state of mind. Take your ass the fuck over there and do it. Motherfucker, matter of fact, I help you. And that's what Virgo was doing. Listen, this king of swords, they're cutting this motherfucker out. And when Virgo leave out this bitch, he gonna burn the place down. Know that. Know that. Oh, cause when this shit, Virgo wants happiness. They want happiness. They want to be carefree. They want they want that child life energy again. They need to be rebirthed. They want their joy and their happiness back. Bitch, you've been around here doing shit that you think what, nobody going to find out about that shit. And when that shit come out and Virgo finds out about that shit, that's going to be the shit that hits the fan. And when Virgo go off, he going to go the fuck off. I don't know why people be thinking that Virgos are... Because Virgos are very passive. They don't want to fight with you. They don't want to... Like, why do people... Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Be scared of the one that don't want to fight. Don't be scared of the one... I'm ruthless. I'll do this to you. You better be scared of Virgo. Y'all keep taking people kindness for fucking weaknesses and shit. Virgo going to motherfucking set shit the fuck off. Cause bitch, you been out here doing like some old fucking orgy. Like you a like bitch what? This motherfucker been out here with a few people. Possibly. What is that? They look like a, a lobster or a crab or something. Possibly with a cancer or a Pisces. Maybe this, maybe this. The King of Cups is sitting there. And Virgo man damn sure ain't no king of cups. Hmm. Very interesting. Listen, y'all let me know what this mean. Y'all let me know what the fuck this mean, y'all. Because, uh, y'all give me some deeper insight on it. I mean, because I think I, 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 done, I done clocked it for the most part, but you don't scare nobody. You don't scare nobody. Virgo, call your people. We don't believe you. You need more people. You alone don't scare nobody. And see, so the thing is, is the Virgos, they're very, very good people. They got too many people that love them. You think that you're going... And the only reason why Virgo is going through this is because Virgo is not telling nobody what they're going through. Virgo, be gentle with yourself. Okay? I know right now you don't have no compassion. Because oh, when you find out this shit, you're not going to have no compassion. You're going to go the fuck off. Forgiveness will set you free. Because like we said, it's not you. It was them the whole time. Only thing you did wrong was leave what you had that was good. Thinking the grass was greener on the other side. See the light in yourself and see it in others. Take your light back. Take your happiness back, Virgo. Okay? Like you said, like you said up here, I was better off when I was by myself. I was in better control of my situation and my environment, and I was a way better parent before I got in this relationship. And I will never the fuck again allow anyone to come with my energy and my space and my place in my face 
disrespect me and get away of me being a good parent. Virgo, if this resonated, listen, call your folks. Because I, 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 I don't know about you, but I know about me. Oh, but my brother better call me, bitch. Stop hiding this shit from your family. Tell your family what the fuck is going on so you can have people to seriously have your back so you can get away from this bitch. Because I guarantee you what? <laughs> you might be scared of that bitch, but ain't nobody else scared of her. Call your sisters. You a badass. Act like it. Fuck them. We ending it like that. You a badass, and you got a lot of badass motherfuckers that got your back, Virgo. Fuck this bitch. Call your folks. That bitch won't smoke. She gonna get some. Y'all done came on the wrong read this motherfucker. Y'all know I don't play that shit. Y'all know I don't play that shit. I don't come on here to be pussyfooting around with y'all. Telling y'all sweet nothings. Whatever the fuck y'all wanna hear. I'm on this bitch to tell you the motherfucker truth. Fuck them. They broke your heart. You a badass. Act like it. Don't give these motherfuckers your power no more. Don't give these motherfuckers no power no more. Empower your fucking family. Call them say, yeah, this bitch want her fucking face smacked off. Y'all need to come on out here. I feel like Virgo got a lot of fucking riders in their family. Right? So if you watching this and you a crosswalk and this you, y'all can get mad at me if y'all want to unsubscribe. I don't want your energy on my page anyway. Cool? Because I don't like bitches like you. I don't like men like you. If you getting in the way of someone, a man being able to see his kids, and you disrespecting a Virgo woman, or vice versa, you getting in the way of the Virgo man being a good father to his kids, I don't want your energy on my page. And you lucky I don't know you because I'll whoop your ass for fucking Virgo. Let me get the fuck off of here because I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit. I'm dead ass serious. I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit. And if y'all know a Virgo that's going through this shit, smack a bitch out for him. I holler.